All right, guys, welcome back. So I'm talking about these quantum names a couple days before the option expiration, literally tomorrow, we're gonna have a pretty big option expiration. And usually after option expiration, uh, any time, let's just start with Regetti, right? So the stock has been pretty much killing premium for the last, uh, I wanna say three months is, right? maybe two months since November, you can see stock hasn't done much up and down, up and down, but it's just pretty much uh, at the same price like range 22 to 27. So if I zoom out a little bit more from its highs, it has come down pretty big and um, at the moment sitting at its 50 day moving average. So what I was going to say regarding option expiration after option expiration, usually these uh i mean these kind of moves where stock pretty much sits kills the premium uh iv decays they tend to pick a direction and we're gonna find out by looking at the gamma exposure volatility and all that good stuff for Rigetti, ion q qbts qubit and all these quantum names that uh we were talking about um I don't remember when we talked about this one, but we were talking about uh, for a year now, ever since they became a hot theme. So Rigetti at the moment at a pivotal area. So this 50 day moving average is your resistance. So if it gets back above this level and also builds above this, what's this level? Uh, I wanna say 27, well, sure, it can rally a little bit uh, towards maybe 30, the next area of resistance I would be watching for the stock. But if it cracks and if it goes lower, then your support is at 200 day moving average. This is where you wanna be cautious for these stocks because they can break down and go much lower. But uh, let's take a look at in terms of gamma exposure, Rigetti, I, don't, I wanna look at DEX, a slightly positive at the moment, but you can see how gamma was well supplied going into the like rally, like people were positioned for the rally, I wanna say. But now it's kinda of like mixed back, so there's not much of a volume. So options pretty much let, are gone, I wanna say, uh, with, um, at least Rigetti's case, we can take a look at one by one. Also, IV, IV rank um, hasn't crushed, uh, but it has come down significantly from those highs of uh, October, okay? So if it's break, if it breaking that 27, sure, next area 30, but again, lots of back holders at these levels, okay? So volume has gone down, makes sense that GEX is lower now. Uh, regarding the short interest, this is another thing I'm interested with these hype names uh, or momentum names that were pretty much quite uh, last couple months after that top. So heavily being shorted on a daily, uh, but again, volume is significantly lower. So yeah one way or another um, if it picks a direction it can definitely has a chance for short squeeze but you can see how short interest has uh hasn't changed actually after dropping so much from its highs short interest hasn't gone gone up it actually came down uh that's why we saw this unwind to the upside all these shorts got squeezed i mean most of them from 25 percent interest in uh last year of uh, January to now at 15%. Again, this is for Rogetti. Uh, on the other hand, we have other couple more ion Q. I want to be super quick with these ones. So we don't spend too much time. Very similar looking chart. But again, it's hovering slightly above its 50 day moving average. So it's not uh, it's pretty much barcoding like moving sideways, uh, killing premium again, it's regarding anybody who's trading like naked calls and puts or maybe even spread if you're doing so like if you were doing so i mean if you were not net seller 
of options, but you were buying options. This is where you lost a lot of money last two and a half months uh, in these names. So for Ion Q's case, uh, resistance area here would be 55, okay? But again, near danger zone once it loses 50 day moving average, which uh, 200 day moving average, which is at 46 right now. And you can see I have my alerts. I like to do this so I don't have to be looking at charts every day. So you can just set upside potential, downside potential. So if it's breaking, sure, since I'm a breakout trader, I'm interested either way, whether it's going up or down. So if it's going down, uh, this alert would trigger me to watch this name, keep an eye on it. And below 200 day moving average for Ion Q, my level is 36. So yeah, again, this stock has a lot of back holders too, okay? 17 billion market capitalization. Uh, in terms of shorts and gamma for Ion Q, uh, I wanna look at short interest. Uh, yeah, it has gone up, it's at 22%. Uh, borrowing fee, yeah, there's still short volume. This is what I'm interested in. Yeah, it's the same thing as Rigetti. Again, this data point that I'm looking at is not accurate because the total volume being reported is not equal to the to total daily volume that is being traded. So that's why, uh, yeah, you have to pull your own data, but I just look at it just to have a clue what's going on uh, from at least the exchange's report, who reported it, who gave it for free, essentially, okay? So 60%, 60% of daily volume were being shorted in the last four or five trading sessions for um, IonQ and uh, IV, let's take a look at IV for IonQ. Yeah, that's still, I mean, it has come cooled off significantly from its highs, which makes sense. Gamma exposure. This is what I pay attention to the most uh, because, yeah, it's 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 pretty low to make sense. Volatility has left, and people are not trading as much options. So GEX is yeah positive. We're we're in a positive gamma territory. Okay, and it uh, looks like uh, fifty for this expiration is your pretty decent resistance. This is where it's pinned essentially, okay? So it's been it's been doing absolutely nothing. Volume, if we zoom out from these highs, yeah, it has cooled off too. Almost uh, trading uh, half, maybe one third of the volume that it traded up here when we had a squeeze, okay? So QBTS, I think on the other hand, it was looking a little bit better, a little bit better in terms of uh, like to the upside, it's it's been staying above its 50-day moving average. And if you, if you look at it from this pullback right there, where did you go? From 46 pulled back, and then you can see a little bit of an uptrend here, the stock has. Again, it's the same theme, same stock, but again, uh, this chart looking, I mean, it's a little bit more bullish than everything else that I looked at. But again, any of these names can take off any moment. So this is 10 billion D wave quantum. Uh, my resistance 32. If it takes it good, if breaks the 50 day, this yellow line on my chart right there, then yeah, I can expect this name come down to 200 m on average, which is $20 level. QBTS uh, gamma exposure. This is what I'm interested in. It's positive, but again, not as crazy as we saw it back in summer, but still in a positive gamma territory. So another name, the last one that is pretty weak, it was looking weak, but it's going sideways again to uh, the weak because it hasn't, it wasn't able to take out uh, make it too much of a high it just stayed right there from previous years high if we just go take a look at two years you can see what it did last december january and then this summer it wasn't able to take out that high it's the smallest as well 2.8 billion 
um, and at the same time, it's trade. It's been trading below 200 day moving average um, since November, and you can see it's been just going sideways. Can it break to the upside? Absolutely, but I would be uh, I would be more bearish anytime I see a stock trade uh, below its 200 day moving average for for a while. So. Nothing good happens, as they say, below 200 day moving average. That's the case for this stock. Even though it's above its 50 day moving average right there, but you can see 50 day downtrending. Stock is in a downtrend, but again, short medium term is, of course, it's it's in a choppy mode, sideways move action. But again, um, any of these stocks can get any kind of catalyst to push them higher. Uh, these are like speculative names. But I just decided to do a little bit of an update for these names. 950, this is the support for this name. If it cracks, you can see my support array is 6, 550, somewhere around there. So again, these videos are not for um, buy or sell recommendation. These are for purely educational and entertainment purposes only. This is just a quick update for quantum stocks. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.